Hello, my sweet friends. This is Tracy. Today I am sharing a farmhouse Christmas wreath using items from the Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and Walmart. So let me show you how I put this little wreath together using these supplies, some metal words, some wood shapes, an ornament shape from the Dollar Tree, ribbon, a foam wreath, rusty stars, berries, greenery, and wood plugs. So let's get started. For the wood shapes, I'm using these from the Dollar Tree. Uh, the larger one is from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use holly green for the tree and milk chocolate for the top of the star and uh, then the bottom of the little tree and just giving each tree two coats of paint. And then for the stars, I am using these little rusty stars in the uh, My Little Christmas from um, Hobby Lobby. And I just kind of pull them off and then just hot glue them on my trees. For the little trim on the trees, I'm using some little trim from Hobby Lobby and I just glue it on with my hot glue and I love it. It's just so cute and it just really makes the little tree just so festive and fun. To decorate my tree a bit more, I'm using these little furniture plugs. They're in the unfinished wood section at the craft store. And uh, the smaller ones are 5 16th and the larger one is a half inch. I just hot glued them to my tree. This is a 10 inch wreath from the Dollar Tree and this two and a half inch buffalo check ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I just wrapped it at a diagonal on this wreath, just hot gluing it in different places all the way around the wreath. I want my little tree, the larger tree to sit up kind of dimensional. And since this wreath is a foam wreath. I am just going to cut a little slit there in the ribbon as well as kind of gouge out a bit of that little styrofoam so that I can fit the trunk of the tree uh, in there and then I'll just hot glue that in place. I'm going to work on my ornament so that it can dry. I removed the little silver top part just with my little scraper and then I took my sanding block and sanded off as much glitter as I wanted because I gave this ornament two coats of white chalk paint on both sides. I want my little ornament to have the shiplap look so I'm just taking a ruler and my box blade and just making some little indentions across the uh, ornament to give it a little shiplap look. I'm really not measuring anything, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm not going all the way through, I'm just kind of hitting that top layer. And then you can kind of feel the indentions, but I also ran my sanding block over it to give it a bit of distressing. And then now I'm just uh, going to hot glue the little top of the ornament on there. And then I wanna figure out where I want to put my wreath. And then I'm just going to put lots of hot glue on there and uh, just glue the wreath to the ornament. Now I just want to figure out where I want to put my smaller trees and I just hot glue those um, to the wreath form. And then I'm using some Excelsior and I like to get the fine Excelsior. I get it at um, Joann's and I always use my 40% off coupon. And so then I just kind of add that to the bottom. It kind of adds like a filler and uh, it 
just, I like the color of it and it just kind of adds a bit of rustic feel to my project. So then I'm just hot gluing that uh, there on the bottom of that where those trees are. And it kind of helps. It also is something for my greenery to grab onto. This little frosted greenery is from Walmart. And I'm just taking a few sprigs of those and just hot gluing those to the bottom of the little wreath. And then this pine is from Hobby Lobby. I cut off a couple of uh, little sprigs of that. And since this is a foam wreath, you know, if um, I could get those to stick in there and then I just hot glue those in place. And this little wreath is looking really cute. Little berries is just what this little farmhouse Christmas wreath needs. These berries are from the Dollar Tree and I just cut off a couple of sprigs of those and just figure out where I can get those to stick in there and then hot glue them. Now these little white squiggles I got these at Walmart early in the season when they were just putting out their Christmas supplies and uh, I knew that I was going to use these in some projects and so I just um, am just snipping these off with my little wire cutters and the little wire bends so easy and since this is a styrofoam wreath I can just poke those in the styrofoam uh, add a bit of hot glue and we are well on our way to getting this little wreath finished. A couple of the little wires were a bit hard to stick in the uh, little styrofoam so I just pulled out my paper piercer um, I got that years ago I don't remember where I got it from and I just poked some holes in the little styrofoam and then that gave me the little hole to stick my little curly cue in to get my believe to look like it is rusty, I'm using a combination of truffle paint and milk chocolate paint. I just painted the word with two coats of the truffle paint and then I just dabbed on some milk chocolate paint to give a rusty effect. I put a coat of gloss varnish on my little uh, word here. Uh, since this, these words are metal, they um, kind of, you know, chip a little bit and the varnish kind of helps from, um, you know, the chipping of the little paint. And so then I hot glued the little word onto my little wreath and just kind of position everything and uh, figuring out what I want to do for the little bow. I have my same two and a half inch buffalo check ribbon and I'm just going to make um, just two loops. I secured it with my little tiny attacher, little stapler um, that kind of helps hold my little ribbon together. I will have a link in the description below if you are interested in getting the details um, of what that little stapler is. And uh, then back to my little bow, I'm just trying to figure out how big I want my little bow and what I'm gonna want to um, add to it. So I'm just cutting off just a small piece of the ribbon and then I just glue the ribbon so that I can you know, make it uh, where it will look nice in the middle of it and then just hot glue the bow to the wreath. I added some thinner 
buffalo check ribbon. This is a 5 8 inch ribbon from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just love the way that this little smaller wreath turned out. That's uh, what I was going for to make a smaller wreath um, for, you know, if you don't have a big space to you know, have a wreath. You can just make a cute little farmhouse wreath. If you recreate this, please share it with me over in the Country Charm community. It is a free Facebook community that you can share recreations of projects that I have inspired you to do, or you can um, share your projects with me. I will leave my other social media links here as well. We will talk to you very soon. I'm enjoying doing these Christmas crafts of 2019. Here is a, a playlist if you would like to check out what other craft ideas that I have already uploaded here to my channel. All right, guys, talk to you very soon. God bless.